Still 50s in the books. Half century. Bring to you one time. This is, uh, it's Crad Gamers. Mm hmm. Vish. Yeah. Beach. Okay. Doing damn thing. All right. You know what it is. <laughs> okay. Merch. Shop.guylightmyfeather.com. Pick some teas on Teespring. Support the podcast. You know how it does. Yep. And, um, like, comment, share, subscribe. All those goodies. Mm hmm. What, what? What? Yep. Here we go. One. Boom! We're back with another episode of Socratic Gamers. After two weeks of uh, not running any philosophy or uh, dope discussions. Well, I guess we kind of did because we talked about movies and then we got into a little bit of philosophy like Thanos' uh, ideology. Mm-hmm. How we agreed. Yeah. Some, somewhat related, but not like a regular... Yeah, not, not a regularly scheduled podcast. We, uh, we jumped to movie reviews. Is next week going to be a movie review? What comes out? I, I'm, I'm not 100% sure yet. We'll have to see. Yeah, we'll have to see. But um, yeah, so this is a regular one where we take five things from the week that we thought were pretty cool. And we should talk about it. We should go over it. So the first thing is uh, infidelity. So I've, I've read uh, two books now. Uh, the Truth by Neil Strauss and uh, A State of Affairs. And it's interesting how, uh, yeah. how like, how we as a species we're trying to rationalize um, monogamy mm-hmm. right but like if you look at our history and you look at where we came from monogamy is kind of like a new age thing right you yeah. know what i'm saying like yeah. like animalistically we we didn't we didn't actually follow that stuff before if you look at the romans and stuff they had like like before it was kind of like you'd have uh marriages for gain yeah love wasn't really like a thing and that's why you had like no it's a very new thing yeah like you have mistresses and stuff yeah. um and then like people now with those books that i'm reading about they're like complaining over like oh how come i'm being cheated on like how they don't love me but it's like mm-hmm. no this is like a age-old thing it's like it's only now that we're starting to think in this terms of like you know one one person one love soulmate kind of thing you know right uh, not not saying that it doesn't happen. I mean, like, but generally people people married for like it was like a contract for like um, to like propagate your wealth and like your your lineage. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And like love was reserved for like not. So it was very uncommon. You mm-hmm. know. Uh, so I think I don't know. What, what are your like? What are your thoughts on that? Because a lot of people are having like issues with that, especially after reading like those two books. Uh, I think in our, like, species, Mm -hmm. like our, if you even look at our, like, cousins, right, like bonobos and chimps, they don't follow monogamy. Yeah, exactly. But but there are animals that do. There are certain animals that do, yes. What was, like, the the Eskimo one, right? The bird? Yeah, there was one bird that, uh, yeah, once they mate, they mate for life. Yeah, yeah, Yeah. so there's that one. I mean, it's not that it doesn't run in our... um, it's not that it doesn't run in our genetics. It's just that, like, you have to realize that everything, there is nothing that's actually um, uniform, I'd say. You yeah. can't, it's like, it's it's not predictable, you know? Like, mm-hmm. you can't say one thing is one way because that's an ideology, and an ideology is just a thought. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It's like, it's like, that's like a, it's like a paradigm. It's like, you have to not kill, right? And it's like, yeah, yeah but people kill all the time. Yeah. It's just human nature. And also there's like, yeah, when you, the killing can be different meanings too, right? Exactly. exactly. It's when just it, the meaning we place where, behind where it's it. Where it's justified. Where it's for not. sure. For sure. For sure. So like when they say things like infidelity, if you brought like the person that's complaining about infidelity back to Rome, the yeah. Roman emperor would be like, what the hell are you talking about, bro? Mm-hmm. I, I have like seven different people yeah. that I get with, yeah. you know? I mean, there's even cultures right now that, that uh, have... Uh, the Mormons. Would, Mormons. Yeah. Uh, like multiple wives, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Muslims too, right? Uh, yeah, they, yeah, they, Muslims too. Yeah, so it's like it, it's just funny. It's just more. That's more like a Western culture problem. Yeah, like we have to we have to get out of the box of thinking like one way is the correct way and realize that always the correct way is, and you just have to like mm-hmm. align yourself with people who think the same way. It's it's yeah. that whole like uh, your vibe attracts your tribe. You know, yeah. actually, I I can't. What book was I reading about it? It's like it's not really your vibe. Well, it is your vibe attractor tribe because uh, you yourself 
will like it's it's not what you want it's who oh, i remember what it is uh it was a philosophy book i was reading mm-hmm. but basically basically who you are as a person will attract more like-minded people like you so if you're a lazy person even though you don't want to be lazy if you're lazy you're gonna surround yourself with lazy people because like that's your and your energy right you know what i mean like yeah. just by default nobody who's not lazy is gonna want to hang out with you because they're gonna be like this is wasting my time you know like uh, yeah. like attracts like yeah. So, but I I do. So in in those books, they uh, they call this thing polyamory, mm-hmm. and I didn't really fully get it. I think it was kind of like about choice. It's like yeah, yeah, you yeah. have to choose to be like the way I interpreted it was like there's this thing called fidelity where it's like I'm choosing to uh-huh. be with you, and in that way, like it's not really about monogamy. It's just fidelity. Yeah. Like I choose yeah. to be with you. I've I've seen videos of people who are polyamorous. Yeah, it's it's just a term, right? Yeah, it's just a term that you are. You are open, like it's an open. It's an open relationship. Yeah, I believe oh. something like that. Oh, oh, oh! Wow, like, there I are people totally that do interpreted that. that wrong. I did. There Wait, are you people, think polygamy? I, no, 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 no. Oh, I, I don't I mean, know if that right. If I'm using the right term, but there are people that do that open relationship thing. Oh yeah, no, no, no. That's not what I'm talking about. I yeah, think that, it's the same. That's a different. It's just funny when you read these books because, like, uh, in the state of affairs, it just it just like describes multiple different ways that people deal with this issue. Yeah, and it's just <laughs> like yeah. There's a there's a reason why there's multiple different ways because there's no one way. Right. You know, it's like you have to figure out how you're going to live your life by yourself. Yeah. In this world, and then you you just adhere to the mm-hmm. levels that you're you're at. You know, like the law systems. Yeah. You know, which is interesting. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, so um, Red Dead Two. We got some Red Dead Two coming. <laughs> so yeah, the new trailer just like that was this week. Earlier this week. Do we and play? We played number one. I, I know. Okay, so I played a bits of one mm. at your house. Yeah, yeah, I remember, yeah. So yeah. it wasn't really the story. It was just more like, oh, you can go around. What, what was the things you could do? Uh, you could hunt. You, like? yeah, you can okay. get like. So it, it, it's funny with those games because like <laughs> they have like a main story, just like GTA Five. Yeah. And like for me, I don't really care enough about the story for those games, but because right. the, the open world is so much more fascinating. Uh huh. Um, but yeah, I like, like their stories though. Their stories I know, I know, really but it's like, good. but it's like the like, like, like GTA uh, Five was a good story. You, you ever hear of Morrowind? No. All right, so it's it's uh, think, it's like a first person online, not online. You can go online, mm. but it's a first person world, and like right. basically, uh, there's a main story, but the open world options yeah. are so like entertaining <laughs> that like. You don't even want to play the story. Actually, this is one of the first times I realized that my interest was aligned with business. Because remember, I took like like computer science before, yeah. and then I took like networking, and then I, I finally landed in business. Yeah. But like whenever I'd play these video games, I would just become like the merchant. Mm-hmm. Like I'd like get things and sell them, <laughs> get uh, things and sell them. Right, right, right. But then I started realizing like, well, I'm wasting my time because I'm not even playing the story of the game. <laughs> so this game will never end. You know what I mean? Like, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like uh, in Morrowind. Uh, you can you can just become like a shopkeeper. Like you can go on quests and then mm-hmm. like get like bounties and then like not bounties but like sacred treasures and then like sell them. Well, I was doing nothing in the story. Yeah, I wonder how they're gonna do the new one. Yeah, I wonder too. So we we've we've uh, we've finally gotten that it is a prequel. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I saw yeah. the thing you posted with yeah. like the scars. But it's just an interesting title though. Okay. Yeah, because well. it's Red Dead Two. But it's a prequel, right? It's just kind of oh, so it should have been like Red Dead. It's just negative good, one, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or yeah, like a little different title. Yeah, yeah I hear what you're saying, but or like, like to impli- the like redemption generally begins. like a sequel, right? That's what generally that means. True, true, true. Yeah, that's true. So it's kind of interesting, but like yeah, yeah. To see, I think the guy, the character's name is John Marston that you play in Red Dead, the oh, first one. Okay, and then prior to him being who he is in the first game and this is a do you know anything about the first game the story was he like i knew he's a drifter i remember playing the alamo scene where i had to like get them back i remember playing the game but it was just like i wasn't heavily invested in the story i don't remember but i do intend to play it prior to this game oh so you're gonna play the first one are you gonna stream it uh, I'll try to all right cool so for you there might be a big game though out there listening oh yeah it's a long game bro yeah yeah um yeah so you guys can look forward to that i don't know if i would i wouldn't stream it i'd probably just probably i'll just tell you hunt. about it prior to because i will get the red dead 
True, yeah. yeah and yeah. I do want to see how they... Because in the new game, there's like it's a, whole, a group of gangs, right? Okay. And I, I'm i not sure how they're in playing the with... In the new game number two? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, like you're looting, robbing banks. So is that going to involve online, like the way they do with GTA Five? Like I'm just... Uh, I don't know. Yeah, true. Yeah, how how are they gonna do? See, like, are they just gonna get rid of GTA Five, like the online, and then? Well, just it'll be there for some it? time, I think. Until... Yeah, but but is there gonna be like a Red Dead online? I don't know. I I think that I would assume so because of how well it did. Because because the thing with GTA. the thing with GTA is that you can like live a life that you've always wanted. Yeah. But like, if we're playing like Red Dead Two, it's like I can't get any mansions, so it's kind of BS, you know. Yeah, I can't get any spaceships. I, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like there's the cool factor's gone, like the technology mm. factor's gone. You're yeah. just gonna be like, oh, I can get like a, an Alamo, right? Kind of thing, you know? I don't know. I don't know how they're gonna do it. But yeah, it's be been almost like no well, for a sequel. Yeah, or the next game to Red Dead. Right, which right. Is not a sequel though. But, so yeah. you're saying remind you banana? Oh yeah. So oh, I saw like someone explaining some of the tr- parts of the trailer, okay. and at that year, I think it was like eighteen something. Was the first time they were importing f- uh, fruits from outside of the United States. Oh, that's kind of cool. And, and then in that trailer, you saw like a banana. Like, oh, is it, that's uh, funny. To, if you understand the time, yeah. Those are like little. Is that like an Easter egg? I guess I don't know. Oh, true, true, true. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's interesting with those games because it's like no, no, no. Those games are like those times. If you yeah. actually think about it, how, how like the rich you know like they say old money yeah, yeah, yeah it's just like you made a lot of money in the banana trade and uh-huh. then your children make money you know yeah. propagating that trade and then mm-hmm. like you know it, it's it's interesting to like read and learn about history and then yeah. you see where we've been because mm-hmm. then it's like oh we've done this for a long time right you know what i mean yeah it's weird how like in school though they don't really like place a lot of emphasis on on history like they, we take Canadian history, but it's yeah. so boring because like yeah, Canada's like that, that's the thing like, that I didn't like. I didn't like it either. Yeah. I I really like. I'm surprised I'm reading all these history books now. But before when I was in school, I was like, man, history's so boring. <laughs> you know, the only thing I remember from history class was Camp X because it reminded me of, like Wolverine. That's we're the Canadians oh, were the right, first ones right. to create spies. <laughs> I thought that was pretty sick. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, first ones to create spies. Interesting. I didn't know that. Yeah. Um. Yeah, so um, let's get into that tweet. Oh yeah. So Elon Musk. So there was a thing called like shorting the market. Uh huh. Which is like bidding against the company. Right. Like, yeah, bidding yeah, yeah. against it. Right. Yeah. yeah. Uh, hoping for it to fail. Uh-huh. Uh So which I find kind of ridiculous because like you shouldn't be able to do that. You could either put your money, you could you could invest your money in um, making something work, but it makes no sense to invest your money in making something fail. Mm, it's not about making it fail, though. No, no, but like like wanting it to fail. You yeah, know, it's, you're betting against your own um, uh, geo economic. You're already calling. No, no, no. I mean, any any company GDP? can fail. It's just it's all about. I don't know. I think it's okay. Okay. Because, you know, I, I see in, like, a documentary where they were, she was, like, did intense research prior to yeah. getting involved. So it was, like, some pharmaceutical company that okay. was, everything that they were doing seemed like they will fail. Okay. So you, you don't, you're, like, you buy the shorting of it, short stock. So, like, yeah, you're buying it so that if it fails, you'll make this much money. Right, right. I wonder how that works. I don't yeah. know either, but it exists. And so it, the reason this came up was somebody like he had like the quarter quarterly the first quarter the uh, call where they would take calls because they show off all the earnings report and stuff. Okay, yeah. And someone asked about um, someone asked about uh, the, of that what his opinion was about this. Sh- I don't know if it was what is his opinion or just like. Uh, is like Tesla so what did he say here on his Twitter mm, meaning most back. so has so what does he think of that basically right I think okay. he was saying like uh, so he's asking it's Elon important Musk. to know that Tesla is the most shorted this is what he's trying to explain to this guy like it's the most shorted stock oh, everyone thinks that Tesla's gonna fail 
No, I thought everyone. They're, they're I, I, I think they're betting against that. I think so. Like this is why he ignored that guy's question, right? Uh huh. Because it's like shorting the stock is not. Like I don't have to deal with this kind of question because you are. Uh, it has nothing. It, you're not investing in the company, so why do I got to answer this kind of question? Oh, like 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 right? my my time is reserved for people who actually yeah. want to see my. Oh, this is what he says. You get call. So that the, makes in, sense. In, during the call, there was a side sell side analyst who represents short sellers. Uh -huh. Like he, at, uh, I guess he asked him a question that he ignored. Is that these are not. Uh, investors, so I got an answer to you. Exactly, yeah, for sure. For yeah, sure. that's yeah, what no, he was no, trying no. to say. That's, so this that's is how this whole, good, yeah. whole thing came up, and then he's saying like um, how there's a lot of people betting against it, mm -hmm. right? Uh, there's a lot of things that show that it not doesn't show. It's just like all the bad news that happens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it just then everybody thinks, oh, it's gonna fail. It, that's pretty interesting. Um, the way he's handling that, yeah. it's like he's there's like very few. Uh, revolutionaries and like free thinkers out there yeah. and like he's displaying that you know like really well because it's like well why do I have to explain to you because I'm focusing on myself yeah, yeah, yeah. you know what I mean like yeah. <laughs> like I don't need like you don't need to speak like, to haters there's, a, there's some good there's some good tweets that he gave out too because there was other a couple of questions he ignored the other one um, like talking about the demand okay. and I think it was RBC question I don't know who that is uh, but Royal Bank of Canada. <laughs> that's what I thought, but I don't. I don't think that makes sense. Okay, or it could be, because uh, they were saying like, "Oh, is the demand not enough?" Right. Okay. And then he's saying that's that's uh, that's because he knows internally what the numbers are. Right. Right. For he, the reservations, he, right. You know what this could be as well. Uh, we were speaking about like conspiracies with the stock market mm -hmm. and like how you can manipulate the stock market through information, right? Because people base their decisions on the stock market through yeah. information, yeah. right? So if that person's trying to make the company fail, they would put out like um, deceiving statements, right? Like, yeah. like fake news, not fake news, but like put doubt into the the investor's mind. Investor's mind, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. So like that could be a case of that right there. Like we know that it allegedly, we know that it happens uh, throughout history that yeah. like. Uh, powerful people will collude in order to make stock prices like rise and fall. You know, according to like news and so yeah, because he was saying with the with the with the demand thing though, Tesla has over roughly half a million reservations. Uh, oh, this million. this reservations for the car, Model Three car. Oh okay, yeah, yeah. right. Despite no advertising. Yeah, that's pretty impressive. Right. So that's what they're not understanding, and no many, cars in showrooms, huh? How many million? Half a half a million. That's pretty good. Five hundred thousand. That's pretty good, right? And if what, even if once they reach the five k that they're trying to get to five k per uh, weekly production, uh -huh. it'll take two years to just to satisfy the the current demand. Wow, that's impressive. Yeah, and without any advertising though, right? So that's the what, thing that they the don't understand. Well, well, but you know what? And it's not like the reason he's also dealing with this because it's not it's not the first time, right? He had the same. He's saying. On the Twitter too, he had the same drama when he was selling the S and the for X sure, models. For sure. he, you know what it is? It's um, he's such a forward thinker that he's not. It's not that there's no ad. He's he's. I think what he means is like there's no um, traditional advertising. No, 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 I know, I know, I know you what know he means. means. I know, like, no, 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 no. I understand yeah. what you're saying, but uh, when he's saying he's saying in the, in the traditional sense, because yeah, when sure. they compare it to other car companies, yeah, they just saying, have yeah, so exactly. many ads on TV, yeah, right? Yeah. But so, but that's why I'm saying he's more yeah. of a forward thinker. Like yeah. he knows that. I, I believe he knows that the people that are purchasing his product are not the, you know, well, if they do buy it, that's great, you know, the 60-year-olds, yeah. but, like, he's thinking about the future and how, like, yeah. well, the 60-year-olds will die with their, <laughs> you know, gas cars, but, like, we, we can attack so, the future. Because social media is so strong. And, and, and the reason why he's, which is also a funny line here that he's got, but why he's not, like, why this is the, like, these are all ridiculous questions, is, uh -huh. like, to say that there, there's no demand or kind of uh, thing. He's like, <laughs> I like this at the end of that tweet. I, uh, he says, I worry zero about demand. Right now, at least. Because he spent all night in the factory, not at the showroom. Mm, true. Trying to sell it. Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Not at the showroom trying to sell it. You're at the factory. Making building. It. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Right? For sure. Um, That's what's more in, in demand. That mean. That's what that for means. Sure, for sure, right? for sure. <laughs> it, it, it's interesting because uh, in the economics book that I just finished, yeah. um, they're saying how 
uh, back in the day, like uh, Coke is a Coke is a like you just want sugar water, right? Mm-hmm. But not until the branding was invented when they started creating stories. That's when like um, you started differentiating products, right? Yeah. And like what I think that the new generation, I mean, even for me, it's like it has nothing to do with the it has nothing to do with like the impressiveness of the car or like its effect on society. It's just, you want to, you want to be a part of a cool product. Mm-hmm. You want to be like yeah, yeah, yeah. a forward thinker. It's sort of like Mac, you know, like yeah, yeah, yeah. when windows was first there, you know, all business people, I was in business school and like it was all, all windows. Right. But yeah. then like when I graduated school, I was like, all right, you know what? I'm going to, I'm going to go for this creativity thing. Like I yeah. think that's what people, and he knows this, you know, yeah, oh, that's, yeah, 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 yeah. that's yeah, the future, yeah. you know? Oh yeah. That's how you sell good products by mm-hmm. selling a business person. Wasn't the best business person. He was the best storyteller. You know, yeah, because yeah, yeah. like, because that. like that's that's all he did. He just talked and talked mm-hmm. and talked. Like, if you can get people to believe in something, you can make something a reality. Yeah, you know. So that was kind of cool. Oh yeah. Yeah. Speaking of, uh, you got anything else? No, that was it. But you know, the issues with. The- all right. So speaking of uh, making people believe something to create a ra- reality, shamanism. This is a very interesting one. So, like, uh, I'm... I'm is it another book? Was it's it? another book. I just, it's called The World of Shamanism. Just finished it. Yeah. Um, it's, uh, well, as a quick side note, anyone who's like, man, you read a lot, you should just carve out some time. Uh, <laughs> don't don't sit there and read, but, like, if you're in front of, like, the treadmill or something, like, it, it's, like, two and one, you know what I mean? You're like, yeah, it's just... You just gotta carve out that time, man. That's right. all it is. But so, spiritual new age. I hate spiritual new age because there's no, there's no bad. Like you have to no like, ba- no, yeah, I don't. You mean, know what I mean? Yeah. You, you can't just tell me that freaking the energy centers are real, and then it's like why? Because blah blah blah, right? Mm. Like you need to base it on some sort of like scientific reality. You need to merge, right. you know, science and mysticism, yeah. in order to like become better. Mm-hmm. You know, because mm-hmm. like science is like science only disproves, right? And then the mysticism just gives you things to check out, you know, it's like, so, so anyway, so shamanism, it's like, it's getting a resurgence, you know, how they're like doing MDMA and like, um, yeah, uh, like MDMA therapy for PTSD mm-hmm. and like, um, you know, pot's about to become legal in Ontario. Uh, yeah. what else? Mushroom, uh, micro dosing mushrooms for depression, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? So like all those things, like, so he's saying in the book that like, shamanism is getting a resurgence because they were the ones who like journeyed into their mental health right um they would do it first for themselves and then they would show other people how to do it and like these these like drugs people call them are like mm-hmm. um they're like quests they were the quests into your internal self right okay but what what i really want to get to is um the shamans know it's all placebo <laughs> right. that's the cool part when i was, when I was reading the book it's mm-hmm. like what the shaman does is he uses your mind to create a placebo to heal itself in the the things that they said was like in order to make a shaman a really good shaman uh, a mediocre shaman from a really good shaman is just their level of belief like how much the the person that's undergoing the shaman can actually believe in the person they they're like because like he was saying how like they have like you know mantra chantings and stuff and all that Mm -hmm. but it's like he knows it's like it's you doing all the work it's not him if you believe in the mantra chanting we'll we'll select that one if you believe in the crystal we'll select the crystal but it's like in the end who does and all that all they're searching for like enlightenment is self-awareness in order to create self-control because that's at the end of the day if you have self-control then you're fully enlightened right because like oh i'm scared okay just control yourself Oh, oh i want to do this with my life okay do it if you have the self-control, then you will do all those things. Yeah. Right. But it all starts with self-awareness. You have to understand that you can do these things. Yeah. You know yeah, what I'm saying? yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. I just thought that was kind of cool because, mm-hmm. like, we're we're hitting the realization now. I don't know if everyone is, but like, at least, well, you've been onto it for a long time. And like now, I'm like breaching into it, but it's all it's all mental, you know. Yeah. Oh, yeah. of, of course like things you can heal yourself with like medicine you know if you have a virus or something yeah but like like a lot like 90 percent of our, i'll go 80 20 because that's like the general principle um yeah everyone else I, th- like I think many things can be yeah yeah of course with, there are some 
Yeah. No, of course you need it in some cases, like you know, like yeah. if you have a staph infection. No, no amount of freaking. But that's the twenty percent rule, right? Like, yeah. but with you know, like depressions on the rise, and like I just saw this thing with uh, this new rapper kid. Do you see it? It was all on Instagram. He like scratched up his whole car. He's like a rapper, like one of those young rappers okay. who's like got a lot of money, yeah. and he had a mental breakdown. He uh, scratched his car up, and he's like, he's like filling himself. He's like, you know what mental breakdown is? This is mental breakdown. Me scratching my car. He's like, I am controlled. I can't even touch my bank account. I can't even drive. Why did they give me this car? Mm-hmm. You know, I am, I am a slave. You know, it's like, right. oh man, like you are actually seeing the truth right now. You know, mm-hmm. you're just a child star that we're parading around. In order, to, it's almost like prostitution. You know, prostitution not in terms of like, like our sexual desire but like prostitution in yeah, terms yeah, of like yeah, entertainment yeah, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah, yeah we should pimp this kid out mm-hmm. and we all get like excited about it but then the kid realizes he's being pimped out and he's like now he's freaking out you know? <laughs> yeah because you have no control yeah which is i'm surprised he said it and then you know obviously you get the media where it's like oh is he just doing this for attention but if you listen to what he's it's like kanye west yeah it's like you know <laughs> like kanye west is saying some real things did you end up watching the interview no i have not oh man it's you definitely gotta check that out uh if you're listening to it kanye west youtube channel there's a couple interviews you're talking about the tmz tmz one and the one he released on uh his youtube channel both are really good he is he's saying some real things he's just communicating it a little awkwardly <laughs> you know he's he's no no he's saying real things yeah. he's communicating it too too straight up you know like people aren't ready for it you got to medicine drip people uh-huh. you know right <laughs> yeah any thoughts on um oh uh, mine stuff i mean i don't know i don't know what, what I, there's a lot of things to do with the mind you gotta, for sure yeah and at the end of the day when you realize like you can just mute the mind then you just want to enjoy your experience and the you're not enjoying your experience if you're thinking too much about yeah, yeah, yeah. your crummy experience you <laughs> right, know what i mean like right, just, right. just chill out man you need to relax <laughs> we all need to relax that's what's going on yeah all right so yeah. philosophical question of the week is free speech a good thing we had this really long debate yesterday <laughs> um and now i thought we'd drop it sure. as the final philosophical question so you want to go first well i think I think freedom of speech is what is needed. All right. So you believe in free speech. Yeah. I do not believe in free speech. Okay. Uh, it's it's funny, you know, because it's like, it's like, but you sound very liberal and like, very like, oh, everyone should get whatever, you know, it's like, actually, so like my, my perspective is that freedom of speech is a luxury for those who can display an adequate amount of self-control okay right because it's like it's like you wouldn't give freedom of speech to a high school student right or like a elementary school student right because they'll say some ridiculous stuff they're they're not self-aware of themselves enough to like exert the control necessary to be like am i being a dick right now Mm -hmm. you know what i mean like uh what would you say hate speech freedom of speech versus hate speech yeah we'll get into that after but um but i just see it like some people just don't grow up from those times like like okay. intelligence like aging is not a prerequisite to intelligence just right. because you get older doesn't mean you're going to be smarter yeah you know and uh certain people that we see like we we're in downtown toronto and people were going off and i was like yeah that's that's why you shouldn't have freedom of speech because you gotta go and re- you guys need to relax right now but you can't control you know? it though you can't there's no way to control that that was my that was my thing with that you're right you're right, right? You, that's a very difficult one to do you're yeah right. that's what i'm saying when you say freedom of speech of course uh, but the you know, uh, I think also with that should be critical thinking, right? That's what I'm saying. Yeah. So sure. there should be those things that should be taught in school, of course. But it's not. Uh, see, no, see, I know that. But you know, we, we can add those things in. But I'm just saying you cannot control. 100. percent That's why. Uh, that's why I say that. That's it's why it's better. Um, it's better to have it than not have it. Yeah. Is what you're saying. Yeah. Okay. So so interestingly enough. Um, I believe you you totally hit on a good mark you're like you need to teach that in school and it's like yeah because um because it's our society that's incorrect and that's why you can't have freedom of speech just yet you mm-hmm. know because like if you look if you look at culturally like if you go to like um but what does that mean okay so you're saying that they just can't say anything no no no, no like like we, we just controlling it like we need to figure it out still like 
I, I don't think Figure it, it out I, That's why I think I think yeah. it's a luxury Right So like we were, we were saying How uh, in Asian countries Like in Hong Kong Right uh-huh. they, they were able to protest Right But they're not going Like you're not you, you In Hong Kong out. though no, Because no, right. they understood The freedom of speech From when they were ruled by Britain. No, no, yeah, yeah, no, no. But what, what I'm saying is culturally, right? Yeah. If you look at their culture, it's about like not not standing out too much. It's very collectivist, right? You don't want to be like the freaking weirdo shouting, right? Because you're going to dishonor your family. But that's not freedom of speech, though. No, no, no. I, I know, I know, I know. Yeah. I'm talking about society. We need to fix society. Okay. Then you can. Freedom of speech comes after society being fixed. Like you said, mm-hmm. it's like you need to teach critical thinking. Yeah, that's a societal issue. Yeah. That's not a freedom of spe- speech issue. Mm-hmm. Freedom of speech is a luxury. That will come after society being fixed, right? You know, but like, again, easier said than done. It's like, how's done? I don't know. <laughs> exactly, that's what right. I mean. Like, so in uh, default position, that's what I mean. Like for your default position is you should have it because society. There's no way to control it, it anyways, so that's I think true. it's better just to have it. And and I'm saying it's a luxury that should be attained right. after a certain point. <laughs> um, so like. But one thing that I, I do get what you're saying, yeah. At a certain level, okay, you're ed- educated enough to. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, exactly. But, I do understand but, that. But like, remember when we were downtown? I mean, you were looking. We're like, yeah, this guy is crazy, right? They, so basically, uh, long story yeah, short, but there's a lot of crazy people. Though. That's what I'm saying. No, but that's, that's not saying. about freedom of speech, though. No, 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 no. no, no but like, it, it's allowing, not, that's it, why I'm saying it's a luxury. So if no, it's not about allowing. Yeah, no, we know these people. You can't stop that anywhere, though. But no, no. But that's why I'm saying it's a societal issue. That's a societal issue. Freedom of speech comes after society's been okay. fixed. Okay. When I say freedom of speech, it's more like you know, because because in areas where you don't have it, you can't question your government. You can't. Of course, no, no. I agree with that. No, yeah, no. Okay. That, that's why it's All like right. that's too much in one direction. We need the middle ground. We need. We need. Uh, okay. Yeah. We and we're still controls. evolving. I mean, but I don't think society's course, done yet. No, 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 no. Western society. It's still not done yet. And that's what yeah, I agree. Yeah. yeah, but but that's why I'm saying we yeah. need to fix society first before we can tackle these issues. Western society's been around for like what 200, 300, 300 years maybe. Of course, we're still learning. Right, but how how many years has like Greece been around? You know, like thousands of years. Yeah. Right. So like, they've had their time to like manage these things. Actually, if you play Assassin's Creed Origins, they talk about what a great society Egypt was, right? But everyone had their role. They yeah, knew yeah, where yeah. they were. So they could say things that they wanted. They could do these things because they knew their place in the totem pole. Mm-hmm. You know, and because society was well established. They had enough food and uh, food and um, food and shelter to go around. Right. You know, their baser needs were met. So that's why everyone was artisan. Right, everyone created art. Mm-hmm. You know, they exercised and they created art without even wanting to be known for their art. They just did things for the sake of doing things. Right. You know, and like that's but already art is freedom of speech, though. That's what I'm saying. They've yeah. they've achieved that level. To their society was good enough that everyone could be free of yeah. their speech, right? Mm. But like, but what I'm saying, we're still in the growing pains. That it's like we need to tackle deeper issues before focusing on this, like. Freedom of speech is not going to fix healthcare. Freedom of speech is not going to fix, you know, whatever. No, I, th- I, I think those are the two same things, though. I mean, what do you mean it's not going to fix healthcare? Freedom of speech? Yeah. No, no, no. Because I'm... you're bringing new ideas to figure no, out. No, no, freedom, no, 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 no. Uh, right, 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 right. no, no, no. You're right, right. If you use freedom of speech correctly, that's why I said it's a luxury. Yeah. So if people are smart enough to use freedom of speech and then you know campaign for healthcare that's great that's a good use of it but what i'm saying is like people being like i hate muslims and it's like okay you could say that because freedom of speech yes. but it's like but you're being a dick that doesn't matter that's no no but but that's what i'm saying so you're 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 saying it but you have to accept both if you want freedom of speech that's what i'm saying i am accepting both but what i'm saying I'm, when i say freedom of speech everything goes exactly exactly and so it can also be criticized of course of course but what i'm saying is like could also be criticized that's but when you have a society that's not self-aware enough, then the most charismatic person is going to win. And then if you have the most charismatic person winning, then it's just going to be like the stupid, like the stupid leading the stupid. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Oh, I don't really know what's going on in life, so I'm just going to listen to somebody who thinks that they know what's going on. Right. And that person might not even be correct. If you do a little bit of study, you'll realize, oh, this guy is actually full of crap. Yeah, yeah. However, because I'm not smart enough to think for myself, I'm going to follow him because I'm insecure. So the the dumb are just going to pro- propagate. Yeah. So what I think is we need to educate ourselves. Education naturally will build freedom of speech because by through education we'll be like, oh, we should we should talk openly. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like, uh, 
I, I think I read that in the economics book too. It's like um, when we're all searching, like, because throughout time we've been trying to create perfect utopian societies, right? Yeah. Um, and he said that the precursor for a utopian society is education. Because once a society is educated, they'll figure out the things for themselves, you know? But it's when we're, we have a lack of education. Um, mm-hmm. All those people that you know, like, are screaming, yelling, screaming, yelling, and you're like, "Oh, do you guys? Did you guys do any further study into this? Do you guys realize that perhaps what you believe to be, uh, I don't want to like, you know, crap on them, <laughs> but like, perhaps what you believe to be the all being truth of your, you know, paradigm, yeah. is not actually truth. Maybe it's an analogy. Maybe it's just a myth." Maybe it's a story, right? But then when you get people like arguing like, no, we, we need to kill these people because of this, it's like, yeah, you weren't educated enough to realize that. But those are XYZ. rules there to protect those people though, right? What rules? What do you mean? The laws that protect Oh yeah, yeah for sure. No, no, right, right. But I'm saying it's like we're 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 holding ourselves we're giving ourselves a harder time than needs to be. You know? If we just if, if society was yeah, well, that, I mean that's that's the we have to deal with that as a bigger society totally different and race the for sure and, and, and we, we we talked about this too the reason why um, like places like Hong Kong they do get the free they they did they did protest right but if you walk around Hong Kong I never feel scared to like not not even scared I don't even feel uneasy in Hong Kong because there's no like there's no weirdos walking around I could walk down in Toronto for twenty minutes I'm like oh I feel really creeped out you know what I mean but like Hong Kong it's like yeah this is because because there's, there's like cultural norms in place that they all adhere to, and this is what you brought up. If you have multiple different cultures adhering to different cultural uh, mores, then you're gonna have a confused society. It's like it's like a shouting circle yeah, of, of people course. that think that they're correct. Yeah. You know, so if it's like oh, I'm gonna wear a hijab, and then the person's like, no, you shouldn't wear a hijab, then now we're battling. But if you went to a place where it's like, no, no it's we where, can where, battle like, about that though. Yes, yeah, I'm saying no, no, but but I'm saying like in in a place where it's one culture. What they're saying, well, yeah, yeah. There's a freedom of speech already that happened in the UK today, actually. Yeah, okay, yeah. And it's it's just you know having the right to say what you want to say right, without right, but, being. You know, what, but 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 what I'm saying is like when do people start abusing that just to get a sounding board to be a dick? Because there's a lot of hateful sad people out there right and then they're like oh my life sucks so if i can say the worst thing i can think of then my life will have meaning because these people will pay attention to me mm-hmm. right it's like oh i'm just gonna i'm just gonna use this opportunity of freedom of speech to get attention because my life is not where it needs to be and i need people to look at me that's that's where i think it's like okay that's a that's a, abusing the the freedom of speech uh yeah. i don't know i think it depends uh... Because a lot of the times freedom that... of speech is offensive, and it's supposed to of be. Of course, no, no, right, right, right. But, so then but, no, you can't. That's no, what no, I mean. No. Like, no, 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 no. Okay, all right. Um, okay, a good example. Um, me- remember, uh, remember that interview we watched with Steven Crowder, and yeah. then they were in the thing, and then the the Trigley Puff, like, <laughs> okay. she's like, she's like, uh, hate not crimes, hate not crimes, um, ah, and she's going off, right? Yeah. It's like you need to relax, you know, yeah, like. But that's what will happen. Everyone looks that, at her that's, weird, though. That's but that's what that's that's how it corrects itself. No, no, but but it then, already does. No, no, but then then you have like you have like groups that form like the the extre- like there's extremists on both sides. Of course, is what I'm saying. Like yeah, yeah, there's yeah, extremists yeah. for freedom of speech, and then there's extremists for non freedom of speech, right? And like. Oh, no, 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 sorry, sorry. There's extremists for people that use it correctly and people that don't use it correctly. Like, if you if you have the social intelligence to be like, okay, you, I'm, at, I'm at your speaking engagement. Why would I shout like a crazy person, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Just, to, just to have my voice heard. And especially at a university too, because it's like, at a university, you guys don't even know what's going on right now. You know what I mean? Even though like, people are gonna listen to this and be like oh i obviously know what's going on i'm like 18 you know it's like no bro like you just started to you know live in the world Mm -hmm. you know you're you're being paid for with your like your um tuition you know like your student loans right but it's like when you start having to find out your place in the world and you have to start like exercising so okay if i could pay for if i get good grades and i could pay for school I can I can get into that realm, right? And then I can be a dick all I want because I'm in that realm, yeah. right? I earned my opportunity to be here, right? But if you if that Triglypuff girl was in a CEO meeting and they're like, all right, fire her, get her out of here, 
Mm -hmm. it, it's like you didn't earn that place. Do you know what I'm saying? It's like it's like that's that's when freedom of speech would be earned because it's like yeah, you you earned your place at the table where you're being civil. Will will listen to your your perspective, yeah. but in like things like school, it's like no, everyone's allowed to come. You can't kick somebody out of school unless they do something like violent or yeah. get bad grades, yeah. right? Yeah, that's what I meant about being earned. Like mm -hmm. it's like. You, uh, again, there's there's yeah, measures in place no, no, to like, kick you out. It's like it's uh, like, dude, you're being a jerk in uh, the boardroom. Of course, I agree. You're with fired. That. Yeah, yeah, of course I agree with that. Yeah, but you just, I don't know how you control that. I don't know I mean? either. That's, no, a, no, that's I, why I mean by. But that's why I think it's a luxury. That's I what I mean by the default is that. No, no, yeah, I, I, yeah. I see what you're saying. It's like yeah. it's like we have no other option, mm -hmm. so might as well just do that, yeah. right? But what I'm saying is like if we if we as a society worked towards education, then it will actually be seen as a luxury. Freedom of speech will be seen as a luxury. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't have the answer for how to, how to fix all these things. Yeah. So it's like, yeah, by default, we're going to get free speech because nobody knows what else to do. It's better to have freedom than no freedom. Yeah. But in actuality, I see freedom of speech as a luxury. Mm -hmm. if, if you could kick out, if, if I was a professor and I was like, you're being too loud, get out of my classroom, you lost your privileges, you're not allowed in the school anymore. How many people do you think are going to keep shouting? None, right? They're going to be like, oh, I, I just lost all my tuition and I lost my opportunity to get a university degree, right? It, it's right. only in these like circles of no consequence that you can do these things, you know? You can be, a, I've been, I was in university, I've seen so many students be rude to teachers and the teachers had to take it because yeah. you can't kick the student out. Mm. But if you can, if you were in a society where like, if education was a privilege, not a right, you know what I mean? Like, um, like, uh, like a Machu Picchu in Peru, you had to you had to be like of a certain status and knowledge level to continue to be educated, right? right? To join the University of Machu Picchu, um, you had to have some like extraordinary skill level, right? But as soon as you you demonstrated a lack thereof, you'd be left, you'd be kicked out. It's like, well. Why are we wasting our time? Why are we wasting our best resources of our elders to teach you who's like, who's wasting their time? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Consequences. Well, we should build a wall, <laughs> and then everyone that's like not good is just like, all right, get out of here. Yeah. If you're not, I just civil, feel like out. I don't know how. I'm just kidding. Control. That's not real. That's not real. No, <laughs> don't don't believe me on that one. They're like, oh, he's an extremist. No, no, no. I'm just kidding. I just don't know how you. This is the thing. I just don't know how you can control it. That, I don't that, know how you that was it my. Either. That's why I'm just in the default position. Right, 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 for sure, for sure. But imagine if if they said like, if you're not civil, you're going outside the wall. How many people do you think will be civil? But then the problem is. See, this is the problem with economics too. It's 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 uh, corruption. That's like and then people start being like, "You're not civil. Mm -hmm. I'll just kick you out." But if there was like a baseline of like, just wait your turn, you know, say it without shouting, you know, then you can have yeah, your free yeah, speech. Yeah, yeah. If we just voted, it was like uh like um, we're talking about uh, like real democracy. You know, if you if you gave me options across the board then I can choose appropriately. Mm -hmm. But if you give me the same option five times and tell me that I can choose from those five, it's like, then it's not really, it's an illusion of choice. I know we said illusion of democracy yesterday. We were arguing over that, yeah. but I'm going with yours now. Illusion of choice. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Sure. <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> Society's... Little arguments. Yeah. It's always good to debate. That's what freedom of speech is. Yeah, she, see, but, like, that's the thing. Like, we can debate, and then I don't hate you after. We're, we're still yeah, living in the same apartment. Not, yeah. that, but that's what I'm saying. But how many people hate the other person after? Like, you're going to have an argument, and you be like, yo, I hate that guy now. I'm like, what, for his ideas, bro? <laughs> like, come on, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's why it's a luxury. I think it's a luxury. Because right. it's like, if you can't even be nice to them after debating mm -hmm. then where are we going to progress how are we going to pro progress as a society right. the stupid are just going to keep leading the stupid and then one guy's going to be like I hate that guy and he's be like don't you hate him too and then it's getting, you're going to get into like drama you're mm. going to get into like um, what do you call that Cons like not conspiracies but like coercion you know what I mean like you're going to spread like lies 
in order to get your way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But if, if you just had the self regulation to be like, no, you're just you're thinking differently and I'll listen to you. I'll debate my ideas, but at the end of the day it's just an idea. Right. You know? Yeah. <laughs> then you've earned the right to have free speech. Mm. Build the wall. Do it, Donald Trump, do it, please. Just kidding. These are all jokes. Not real. He doesn't really have the money to do it. So. Really? Whatever happened to that wall? They don't have money. Is that really what happened? Remember he's like, yeah, he's gonna saying get he's Mexico, gonna get Mexico to pay for it. No, he can't do that. There's no way you can do that. It was Cinco de Mayo yesterday. <laughs> oh yeah, it was. Yeah. Yeah. What is that? What is that? I just I have no idea. What it was going on all my Instagram. I was like Cinco de Mayo. Means something. He, I don't, you I don't know, know. You know. It's funny. I just didn't it, care for these things. He, you, know, you know. It's funny. If you go, this is how narratives work. Cinco de Mayo. You're like, oh, that's sick. If we just go, it's the fifth of May. <laughs> Cinco de Mayo translated is fifth of May. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So. Just because we don't know what that really means, we think it's going to be some crazy like narrative, you know? Yeah, no, I mean, we make, date, we make things, dates mean something, like 420. That's true, like, exactly. May, but May, at the, the, May end, the 4th. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But at the end of the day, it's, it's, just, it's just a story we tell ourselves. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. And, and we'll end on that one. Yeah. Listen, watch the stories you tell yourself. Read the books. Read books. If you watch the story, you'll become self-aware enough to hopefully control yourself and then you will be afforded the opportunity of free speech <laughs> under my ruling government which right. will come now <laughs> yeah I couldn't imagine being a world leader that would be crazy yo. Uh, that's a lot of work I know I was just like yeah that's too many people it's like even like oh we were just talking about like Toronto there's so many different cultures and so many different ways of looking at it like people are just like I don't want to say like cesspool but it's kind of like <laughs> weird it's kind of weird how like you just have a bunch of people who are upset, clustered together. It's been going on for centuries, though. It's still, like, it's still the same thing, though, because it was a smaller area, but still the amount of population was still high. Of course not as... We have a higher population, but our, the expansion of the city is larger, yeah, yeah. too, right? It's, it's, it's the multiculturalism, though, because, like we were saying before, if you have one culture, like in Hong Kong, there's, like, two million people crammed into a very small space, mm -hmm. but there's no, like, craziness, you know? There's a lot of people killing themselves, though. <laughs> like, oh, yeah, so that's stress, thing. you know? Yeah. Well, because they have to work really Their hard. Their version of society. The cost. Yeah, 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 of course. Yes. Yeah, nothing's perfect. But, I mean, like, it's, it's pretty well-regulated, you know? Mm -hmm. But... But if you go down here, if you go to where were we yesterday? Here, what? Check out my story. I'll I'll post it soon. Oh, where were? Uh, yeah, where were we? Dun in Dundas Square. Dundas Square. The thing that looks like New York, and like these people were like going off. <laughs> it's like so weird. I felt so touched though. Yeah, uh, they they were doing like a such um, emotion. <laughs> they were doing like a play about like this girl finding her way back to Jesus, and then I was like, dealing oh, okay. Dealing with the vices. Yeah, dealing with the vices again, with, like analogies. Of course, yeah. yeah. If you so choose to look at it that way, depending <laughs> on you. But then, like, I look over to my left, and there's a guy that looks like the devil. I swear to God, it was. I like, think it was. Oh, I remember the, the other guy. Pink I, I thought that too. Hair, and then he was just like smoking, like really, like long drags to like make the smoke come out. And he was staring at them. And I looked at him. I was like, Oh God! And then I was like, Maybe Oh, you're, you're right. trolling. You're trolling them right now because yeah. you're trying to look like a demon because they're like super angelic, you know. Right. <laughs> it's very odd. But again, that's just free speech. He can do it whatever he wants, yeah, you know? Yeah, Look yeah. there, freak him out a little bit. Yeah, of course. But it's like, can. that's not very civil. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Yeah, he gets freedom. That's exactly right. You know? But that's, again, that's that's yeah. why I keep you can't You can't hurt watching. him, though. You can't do anything physically. That's But he's pretty freaky, off. though, eh? Did yeah. you see him? Yeah, I saw yeah, him. I, 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 I saw him. Relax, I maybe yeah. saw him at the same time. Freaked me out. We yeah, had to, yeah, we had to like, walk through a different entrance. Remember, I was like, I'm not walking that way. <laughs> Let's go in through the door. It's like the opposite <laughs> side. Like, he's like, he looks really weird. We didn't want him to pull us to the device, devices. Yeah, he was like, that was very odd. And then we saw that homeless guy who was like, uh, 10 months sober, I want some money, some like sign like that. And then like an obviously like not sober homeless man started like giving him like a lecture and I was like, I don't think you saw that but I was telling you about it. Because I was watching them outside, I'm like, oh my god, this place is so weird. You know. I find it all entertaining. But, but how come where we live, there's no... Is it just like the density, the multiculturalism is different? Because there's a lot I, of yes. Asian people in our area. Yeah, yeah so I like know. It's no, very no, I think controlled it's a here. But it's also a newer type of city. Like it's, I think it'll it's take time to get there. It's true. If yeah. it does get there, 
or maybe it's maybe it's just the culture here it's like there's a lot of asian people so they're all just very quiet i like it yeah maybe you know they're like you do your thing i'll do my thing yeah, 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 yeah. you know i like that mm-hmm. yeah not really into the whole loud thing i feel like people who are excessively loud are insecure they've got something that they want other people to <laughs> It was funny because I was thinking about this yesterday when I when I was like at the gym, I, I like walk with my sister and then like but before I remember when I was like twenty two when I just started martial arts we were doing the most insane workouts in the gym, but I felt like just to draw attention just people like what do you guys do and I'd be like oh I'm a martial artist blah, yeah. blah, blah. you know but that was me being insecure that's why I had to make my workouts so extravagant so that people would be like oh he must be special you know what I mean? <laughs> but now that I'm like who cares about that it's like I'm just gonna walk. Right. You don't care anymore, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so that's why I think people who are excessively loud are just insecure. Because they want the attention. I assume. We don't really know. Who knows? Yeah. God knows. I was, a, I was just about to say that. <laughs> it's God's plan. That's how we'll end it. God's plan. Right. Stay strong. OVOXO. Yorkdale Mall. Pick up some teas. Not ours. Drake's. Oh. That's it's where God's there? plan's from. Yeah. Oh, is that right? Yeah. I don't uh, listen to Drake. Drake. Oh, no. Drake, if you listen to this, I listen to you all the time. But uh, but you need to step up your tea game. feels like, like iron-ons. I was like, ah, oh, this is not worth $60. <laughs> okay. Yeah. But it was God's plan, though. Right, yeah. God's plan. Yeah, exactly. All right. So until next time, if we do a uh, movie review. I actually really like those movie reviews. I, I like those game reviews, too, though. It's pretty fun. Yeah. We're gonna change this up, you know. Like we're gonna we're gonna try and find new things to talk about. Um, but I do also really love these these five topic ones because mm-hmm. uh, it gives us like multiple things, you know. Whatever. Yeah. Stay tuned. <laughs> All right. Take it easy. Peace.